Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews. Today we're doing a build lock. Now you may come here because you just thought the build lock was cool and it is. You may also have come here because of my review of the palette graphics card or the case or the Fury power supply that we're using in this video because I linked that in the videos and everything. So there is a review of both this palette GTX 980 Jetstream card, Bitphoenix Fury 650G and of course the beautiful and amazingly built Vantex Ento Evolve. Right then, so first things first, a bit of an overview of the hardware specs we're using. So we have a Samsung 850 Evo SSD, 250 gigabytes of it. We have a Seagate desktop drive, two terabytes, just for storage, it's enough. CPU wise, we're using the Intel Core i5 4690K. So this is not the new Skylake, Skylake CPU, but it's still an incredibly good CPU. Graphics card wise, we have the Palette or Palette GTX 980 Jetstream. Um, pretty awesome card, it looks pretty damn awesome as well. To continue our awesome looks, we have the Bitphoenix Fury 650G, which is a fully modular power supply. You can view the, re the uh, review of it on the eye right there. Same for the graphics card, the eye right there. So this is completely braided, it just looks amazing. We're using 16 gigabytes of 1600 megahertz RAM by Team Group Elite. CPU wise, we're using one of the most difficult to install, but one of the best looking and quietest CPU coolers out there, the Dark Rock Pro review up there in the eye, of course. Now, as I said, it is a bit difficult to install, but who cares? You're only installing it once, right? Um, motherboard wise, again, to stick to the awesome look scheme, um, same color as the graphics card. This is the Asus ROG Maximus 7 Genie. I didn't review this one. Uh, I'm not going to because it's a bit late, but if you want to watch the full Maximus 7 review, the eye up there, yeah, you guessed it. Case-wise, there we go. Yeah, it's more or less in focus. We have the Fantex Ento Evolve right there. This is the original one, the very thick aluminium version of the case for MATX motherboards as well as ITX boards. If you want to watch my video about the ITX version of this case right there on the eye. So let's get started with the build. All right, so first things first, we're going to have to check if our motherboard, CPU and memory, as well as our power supply is actually ready to go. Um, it's fairly important that you just give everything a, a run outside of the case first to make sure everything's working. Um, so yeah, let's do that. All right then guys, the moment of truth. Um, and this time, I don't even have to hotwire it because this board has a start button, which doesn't work until you put the power supply on. Every single time that happens to me, every single bloody time. There we go. Press F1 to run setup. Now there is no CPU cooler on here, so we're just doing this one quickly. Um, but it does seem to, um, you know, it seems to notice that we have a CPU and that we have memory in there, so that's great. All right then guys, so I finally managed to install the, um, the Dark Rock Pro cooler on there. It is the most difficult thing to do in the world of computing. And if, you know, if you ever want to challenge yourself, try installing a Dark Rock Pro on an ITX board or one of these uh, MATX boards. Luckily for me, ASUS actually did a fairly good job uh, with their motherboard layout, so I was still able to, um, well, I'm still able to reach all of the um, standoff holes and I'm also still able to reach all the power connectors, which is a bit of an issue with the ITX boards I usually work with. Uh, but it's also very nice to me because it makes me appreciate the all-in-one cooler that I'm in. I think the video's going up next Sunday or something. Uh, you can check that one out right there about the Silverstone TD-03E. Um, so yeah, that's coming up. Uh, but as you can see, everything's still working. So I now can finally put it in the case, finally. Alright then guys, so other than putting the storage in, we're done. 
uh, and cable management, which is going to take me a couple of hours, so I'm not going to film that. All right, congratulations for making it through the video. So this is basically what we ended up with. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about it. What would you do differently? What would you like to see me do next? Let me all know all that sort of stuff in the comments below. Also, if you like this one, like the video. If you didn't like this one, dislike the video. Don't forget to subscribe if this is the first time you see one of my videos. Um, subscribing is free and it just helps me out a lot. It helps you out a lot as well because you get the videos the second they're released on YouTube. Anyway guys, massive thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.